Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV again for another quick spotlight video on another one of our new rifles that we just got in. So that's gonna be the East Tennessee rifle. You've already seen, or I just made a video and posted of the Saudi gun. So let's take a look at the East Tennessee gun. Also by Jack Dupre. So a little different gun than the Saudi, double grease holes which is nice, nice hard grease in there. Typical iron mounted furniture, butt plate, toe plate. Pretty cool little, um, you saw on the, uh, on the Kibler, um, I put that Sterling feather holster around. This one has a little, I don't know, bone, I believe, little bone surround, hand forged, Trigger guard as well, a little different shape. Got the curl there, pretty awesome. Typical southern straight front trigger. And he also did a pretty unique thing with this, which is which is this brass piece here integrated with the uh, with the entry thimble. And they're screwed on with tiny little screws into the wood, or this piece is screwed on. So that's kind of cool. And a little patinaed iron man my brain's not working today iron uh, ramrod pipes and a nose cap on this one and this is 40 caliber also made by jack dupre i think i said that so also very thin you see a 16th less than an eighth of wood showing on each side of the barrel from the top so very very thin thin, thin stock. Typical southern side plate with the little teardrop hawking type on the, on the front. Two separate side plates, but that's a typical southern shape side plate. I've got the same one on the, on the Kibler. Same shape. Full over the comb tang. So tang comes down runs right over the top of the comb and runs all the way back to the butt plate. No real reason for that. Strengthens a little bit, I guess, but I think it was just the uh, the gun maker showing off, to be honest with you. So the tang comes down, rides up the comb, and goes to the back. That's a nice, tough inletting, uh, inletting job there. And also it's hard to, uh, to forge these and make them fit. So it's a little bit of showing off, and that's cool. Got the man in the moon. On the cheek piece, it's a pretty nice touch. Pretty rare for southern guns, but sort of once you get further away from the mountains, you see this. So it would have been known. And of course, these were in Pennsylvania and, and other places up north as well. So it had been known that that some you know guns had this on there. So the guy who had this made, if it was an original, could have requested that from the gun maker, and certainly is a plausible addition to a southern rifle one more quick look and another late ketlin chambers lock with the tail rounded to look like some of those um, barrel locks that a southern gun maker would have used and nice little patina job here with some wear and some dark areas and nice nose cap and this is a 40 inch barrel so a little bit longer than the 39 um, on the saudi and of course shorter than the 46 on the kibler and in 40. so the kibler is 45 saudi's 36 and the east tennessee gun is 40 which is a nice nice flat shooting trajectory round super accurate round i love the 40. And we'll see you next time. Bye.